Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today we're gonna play a little bit with um, some electronics. I have gotten a new DC to DC converter for the robot lawnmower and we could just go visit it. It's, uh, it's working down here. Um, I'm having some issues with the battery and charging the battery. There is seven lithium ion cells in the lawnmower and combined they shouldn't really be charged over 29.4 volts but if I um, program the DC to DC converter to to put out 29.4 volts well it never charges the robot so the electronics inside of the robot um, never says that it's full and so I have to charge it with 32 volts to actually come and show up as being fully charged so well we're gonna put this on this is a smaller one than the one that i have in there but this one has a display and a little button so i thought we should try that these are really cheap it's embarrassing how cheap these are i had electronics at school for many years and i would not be able to make anything like this for this amount of money so awesome it's not much on there so here is the little setup i don't know if we need to um, to do this over i better show you the whole setup this is the charging station for the robot lawnmower it drives in here when it needs some charging and it has this cable that it follows uh, the cable goes around the garden and it's also the outer perimeter if it uh, comes up and feels the cable it will go to the other side one or the other one um the docking station is powered from this solar panel up here and the windmill uh, even though the windmill doesn't really make any power it's it's too much in the, in the shade of houses here so well the cable goes in around the shed and it goes inside my garage here this is the windmill coming in and this white cable is the solar panel coming in and it goes into this little Chinese charge controller which I did a video on and which has been working perfectly great someone said that I should add some fuses hmm probably right um, but it actually works pretty good so I'm not gonna bother with that so yeah the charge controller should really stop anything bad that should be protecting itself um, but well it's this is low power uh, the whole idea is that to power the robot lawnmower there is a brick like a uh, from 230 volts to 24 volt uh, transformer I wonder where I put that that's over here here that's the power supply for the robot lawnmower it's, it never got further than to the door so um, that used to sit here and I power that from the battery. From the battery I had a inverter that made it over to 230 volts AC and then the power adapter for the lawnmower made it back to 24 volts which is really 32 volts which is really weird. So um, yeah in another video I put this DC to DC converter on here and it has been working really well. This one I got from my cousin he uh, had this sitting around I've actually ordered two of them just uh, to replace the one that I borrowed here but this one came before the other one so we're gonna try and put that one on and see what we get out of that okay, let's see if we can get in here ah. Ah. yeah got it so this one has its own little heat sink I think this one was it's it's supposed to be able to deliver 75 watts where this one is 250 watts and I'm using somewhere about 32 watts so it's it's not a big deal and I can see there is plus and minus on these leads let's uh, unscrew these a little bit make sure that they're good I put a little switch on the 
on the setup here. So as soon as I turn this off, uh, the robot lawnmower will stop what it's doing out there because it's um, yeah, it needs it needs that parameter. If there is no signal in that parameter uh, wire, it it feels that even though it's not near it, and it stops. So well, I need to do that. So we'll just stop that, and the robot lawnmower will have stopped out there. So I will this remove the wires here. So this one, uh, white is plus. If you would please remember that for me. White is plus. That's the output. So on this one there is an input and there is an output. So it goes that way. And of course it's the opposite way. Yes. Oh, white is plus. Oh, it's actually good. Output. Plus output. I still want that switch on there, so I have to go get a piece of a plier or something so that I can put that in. Okay, I'll go get some tools. So, Marcus from Germany thought that I needed some tools, so he sent me some. And these are really awesome tools. It's this German brand W Umlaut RTH. Um, I have no idea how to say that, but I did notice that there was a very nice uh, tool for uninsulating cables. And let's try that. This one. I thought that was cool. And it has a cutter down here. So thank you very much to Marcus for sending me this box of awesome stuff. Um, I'll be using this in upcoming YouTube videos uh, just because that's it's a nice thing to do when you get something this cool just sent to you because someone thinks that you need that. So it's a bit of a problem to fit it in the box, but well, I will manage. Let's um, cut and insulate some cables here. Okay, so let's see. We need something like that. And let's see if we can uninsulate it. Don't need that much. Yep, that works. Okay. It took a bit too much here. Uh, probably it needs to... There's an adjustment here, so I'm gonna try and do a little bit less. Well, maybe not hit it as hard. Oh, that wasn't good. Let's try some more. Not enough. Now we're almost back at where we started. Okay, that will work. Okay. So, this one goes to the plus here. That one. And the other one goes to the minus. And the battery is running dry on the camera and we learned an important uh, thing when I did this last time there was a usb connector in this uh, thinky here and i plugged that into the camera and it was a lot of noise that came out of that so that was that sucked but let's see if i can plug this in have a couple of minutes i guess before it's totally dry but i was able to filter most of the noise out of the video but it's just nicer when i don't have to do that Let's see what happens if we power that. Uh, 19 volts. There is an adjustment screw here. Oh, it says how many amps are, does it? What is that? 19.5. Out. Red. In. 
Let's adjust that. It's going up 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. I'm gonna do 31 volts. So the other one I've had sitting on this metal plate because the bottom of it is a metal plate for um, getting rid of the heat. So, oh, one minute left for battery time. So let's try and turn this off and turn it on again. 30 point, what does the button do? In voltage, oh, it shows me the input voltage and if I press it, uh, the output voltage. Awesome, very nice, I like it. Okay, that's when the power ran dry. So you need to be connected to power here. So we are popping you in and this is probably noisy as well. So the camera is charging with uh, half an amp, 800 something milliamps. So yeah, um, I'll go play on with this and you will get the results when you have charged. So, um, happy charging here. So we've been charging a little bit and the robot has now, um, it has been running since uh, I had to put the camera in for charging. And it has now found the signal and it will go to its docking station over there. Probably not the greatest idea of have, having that dog go up into those solar panels. And we will see if it goes in and it charges. It did that pretty well. Uh, 64, 69, 70, 71, 72. Uh, yeah, it. Uh, it will be charging. Let's see what uh, currents we are seeing in here. Okay, the little DC to DC converter is here. Doing good. I like it. I like the display. Is, does it look okay? Yeah, it's, it's decent. We can, I can of course see the voltage over here, but I can also just press the button on here and get and get the voltage of the batteries. Let's try that. 12.5, up here it says 12.6, so it's ever so slightly less. And 13.7, awesome. And 30.7 volts. So let's see how much amperage we are drawing. Amps, uh, this has to go that way. So if we go now zero it out zero we are drawing two point well just just around two point zero one two point one amps from the batteries and 1.5 amps are coming from the battery the rest is coming from the solar panel so awesome it's working and i will be able to adjust this up way easier it's too bad that it doesn't show me the amperage it would have been nice to see when the batteries are almost charged when it stopped drawing as much power um, yeah that would have been cool but i think this was three point something dollars it's next to nothing you can't expect everything for that price okay so now it's at 76 percent charging if i go in and turn the voltage up it will charge a lot faster but i'm afraid of damaging the batteries so yeah hmm. so yeah the tiniest of updates to my robot lawnmower more or less it's only i get a display so that i can see the voltage going out and the voltage going in so that's worth something as well i actually um, purchased that dc to dc inverter and then was waiting for it and came to think of it 
maybe my cousin has one of those laying around and he did so I called him up or actually the other way around I called him up to ask if he had one and he did so I could just go up there and pick one up that's the one we just detached in there so it's nice to be able to do that so thank you very much for watching my videos do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again um, and I might be doing more on the robot lawnmower if something comes up um, it has been running from solar uh, since I got it almost since I, I had it I had it plugged in the very first day so otherwise it has been running off solar have a nice day bye bye